Alright, what's up everybody? This is Super Owl 88 bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops commentary. Now this is my final gameplay with the Uncommon Submachine Guns. If you guys are new to this channel and haven't caught on to the fact my last few videos, well I stuck in a few wager matches in between, but for the most part we're using all of the Uncommon Submachine Guns and this is the last one being with the MPL. Um, hadn't already noticed there was a host migration after I was I was eight and two when it happened so you saw me start right about here and then yeah so basically you're seeing the last two-thirds of a free-for-all game which is where most of the action happens and this was a pretty frustrating game it's pretty like I get a lot I get 12 deaths so it's actually a pretty bad free-for-all match considering it's normally not too hard for me if I'm using guns I like to go like 30 and 4 and so that's a pretty common score for me to get. This game I end up going 30 and 12, which normally I wouldn't post, but I don't know, I'm kind of proud that I won this game because they were noob. There's a guy noob tubing this game. He only kills me once with his grenade launcher, but like just the fact that he's doing that, and I think just about every other person was sitting in a building with claymores. Like you see me right there, I get hit by a claymore, somehow I don't die. I die from so many claymores this game, and so many people are just sitting up in buildings and. I beat them by using a gun I don't like, the MPL, I'll get into that later, and by rushing. And I know you guys probably say, well, just put on Hacker. I don't have Hacker on any class that's prestige, because I was kind of, uh, they, they patch sound whoring, so I was kind of excited to get Ninja on, so I have Ninja on a lot of classes, and then on all of my submachine gun classes, or my shotgun class, I have uh, Marathon on, and Marathon in this game is much more effective than I think it was in Modern Warfare 2 just because I feel like you're a little slower in this game and people don't run Marathon as often so if you have I don't know I feel like if one of you guys could explain it to me why but there's definitely some kind of advantage that wasn't in other games that comes from having Marathon or being able to sprint for long periods of distances or in this case I have it pro so I can sprint forever there's some kind of a something good about that and this guy catch him planting his claymore I don't know he's claymoring and using second chance it's just annoying and I spawn to another claymore so that's like really a good deal of my death is claymores this game and if you guys are playing free for all please don't use claymores it gets you one kill and then if you're trying to camp it just ruins you use motion sensor like I could clearly state in my first video how effective motion sensor is in free for all moving on to the uh, MPL here it is probably one of my least favorite submachine guns and I was kind of excited to try it out too because I see a lot of people using it a lot of people do like it so it obviously has some kind of it has something over the audience but to me it's useless it, you can see it's iron sight right there is disgusting it's got this long loop on top and it's got a second loop which on any other gun you'd expect to be where the bullets go but no then there's another needle inside of that second loop which is where your bullets go and it's kind of confusing and I keep shooting uh keep shooting low for that reason thinking that the second needle thing the second loop is the iron the crosshair whatever you want to say where the bullet goes if you guys yeah if you guys have used it out maybe you like the iron sights that's up to you and the reason I'm not using red dot sight is because I was so excited this submachine gun has dual mag and that if you didn't know gives you extra ammo so I was pretty pumped I was like wow I don't have to run scavenger on this gun I can just run dual mag and I can put my lightweight on so that's pretty much what I was doing I was forcing myself to do that and I don't really want to incorporate sights as the most useful attachment for you guys because I feel like if you if you like the iron sights then that means that that's what you should be using not the red dot sight or whatnot so I kinda wanna show you what's the most effective for the actual gun assuming that you like the iron sights so in this case I choose dual mag because I didn't like it silenced it was okay I guess um, grip didn't help too much because the recoil is little to nothing on this weapon rapid fire I don't know I didn't like too much and normally every other uncommon sub machine gun I have brought up extended mags as an option in this game I mean, for this gun, extended mags is replaced with dual mags. So you can't even have extended mags on this weapon, so that's not even one of the options. That's why I go with dual mag, mainly because I like running lightweight, don't have to run scavenger, and I could run, yeah, get the extra ammo for that reason. Now, I 
probably could talk a little bit more about the gameplay for the rest of this game here. I think I go on and I get my Blackbird, and my final kill would have gotten me a Chopper Gunner, but it was my final kill. It was my 30th kill, so the game was over. However, this uh, I'm for the end here. I'm going to talk a little about a bit about quality and try to mention my HD PVR thing. So if you guys, I've got a lot of new like subscribers somehow. I think you guys are just seeing my comments, but that's that's for another video. Anyway, um people are saying to me that they realize the quality's bad and they obviously haven't gone back and watched some of my older videos where I explain the issue, but yes, my quality does suck. So right now most of my videos are based off of poor quality gameplay and me as a commentator. So I think all of you that subbed obviously just sub for me and not like my gameplay, which is really what you should do cuz overall it's just a video game, it's not too exciting. Anyway, the HD PVR thing, almost at 50 subs, so I have the money sitting sitting around to buy it. However, I won't buy it until after Christmas because I think there is a good chance I will get one for Christmas. So if you guys know this, I'm obviously not going to go out and buy one if I think I'm, I could get one for free for Christmas, save 100, 185 $200. Oh, this is a sick kill, by the way. Look at this. I spray him down with the f stunt still up. I follow his crosshair. Anyway, back to that. So, um... Yeah, so if I will either get an HD PVR for Christmas, so that's when I'll get it, or if I, let's say I don't get it, I will be ordering one the day after or the day of Christmas. So that's when you guys can all look forward to me being in HD. But I promise it will happen. I have the money sitting around. I just don't want to spend it because uh, there's a good chance I can get one for Christmas once again. Anyway, final score is 30 and 12. It sucks. I don't like the MPL. That's probably why it sucked. It was a frustrating gun to use. Don't really recommend it. Use the Spectre. I'll have a link in the description for all the other games I've put up with the other submachine guns. Leave a comment, rate, or subscribe if you like this. Thanks.